Good morning, guys. Um, my name's Cliff Jenkinson, and I've got exactly seven minutes um, to try and tell you about um, Hobie UK. I am from the greatest place in the known universe, which is uh, Liverpool, which does mean, that's a couple of groans there already, um, which does mean I tend to ramble and kind of waffle a bit and go on. Um, so if the bell goes, don't worry. Um, then some of the teachers will start to do this at me and this. Uh, don't worry, I'll just keep going. Then you'll hear sirens in the background, that'll be the police. Uh, don't panic, people will kind of barge in, run in, grab me by the legs, try and drag me away. Honestly, don't panic, don't try and run, just uh, keep to your seats. Okay, I firmly believe uh, that this organisation, um, Hobie UK, is amazing. And I believe in the next seven minutes, I will <coughs> totally change your life. Not literally, but I believe that talking to you about Hobie and you guys taking a gamble, taking a chance, um, I'm filling in a form, I'm going to Hobie next year can absolutely 100% change your life. Okay, so what is Hobie UK? Okay, it sounds a little bit like um, a character out of the Lord of the Rings, got hairy feet, it's not, it's not Brown's hobby, it's not Hobbit, it's Hobie. <coughs> Lovely. And it stands for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership. Okay, um, Hugh O'Brien is this delightful uh, kind of cowboy here. In the 50s, he was an actor, American actor. Um, and he was very passionate about uh, world peace. And he wanted to do something, he wanted to use his influence uh, to, to bring about world peace. And uh, uh, a Nobel Peace Prize winning doctor uh, called Albert Schweitzer, who was working in Uganda, um, <coughs> free, um, free healthcare to Ugandans, um, invited them over to Uganda, and they talked over a weekend about how to bring about world peace. Now, Albert Schweitzer was 80 years old, and um, he basically said to a young Hugh O'Brien in the 50s, it, he felt that it was all about the youth of this world, and specifically America, and that they were the people that could bring about world peace. So Hugh O'Brien went back to the US, and he set up the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Course. That's been running since the 50s. It started very small, with, with about kind of 100, 200 people attending. Now every year, they have a World Leadership Congress um, every kind of summer. And that's kind of 600 young people uh, around your age uh, from across the world. I went to it last year. Um, people from America, Canada, people from Mexico, the UK, Germany, Iraq, Tibet, China, if you name it, all around the world. Hobie is actually huge around the world, it's just not very well known in the UK. Now, about three or four years ago, my headmaster, John Sharples, uh, from Sir Thomas Butler Church of England High School in Warrington, decided he wanted to bring Hobie over to the UK. Um, so we set up the, uh, the Hero Brian Youth Leadership UK version. Um, so it works on the principles of empower, lead, and excel. So what we do, one second. Okay. What we do is try and empower you, um, teach you how to lead, and then show you how you can excel in leadership. Okay. So Everybody in here is going to use leadership skills in their life in the future. Every job you do, whether it's IT, business management, uh, cooking, sports leaders, leadership is going to be a huge part of your life. And I know that um, when I'm trying to sell you a youth leadership course, it is the driest thing in the whole world. Okay, But what I'm, I'm going to try and get across to you at the end is that it can actually be a lot of fun. Uh, how it inspires young people in their lives. This is a list um, of the, the pupils in my school. Um, that went for head boy and head girl last year. Uh, sorry, this year just gone. Um, now, what we usually find is we usually have about two boys and about three girls going for it. But when we looked at the list, um, we suddenly had this kind of huge abundance of girls kind of going for, for, for head girl, and we couldn't understand why that was. And so we realized that the year before, that these girls had all gone to Hobie and they, they've done a lot on self-esteem, self self-awareness, and leadership skills, and felt empowered enough to actually kind of put themselves forward for leadership positions in the school. Now, what do we actually do at Hobie? It runs uh, in a weekend in the Easter holidays, April the 14th or April the 17th. You would kind of turn up on a, on a Thursday. Uh, it's for young people all across the UK, uh, the same age as you guys. You'd be put into a, a small group with a couple of group leaders, you know, kind of do some kind of warm-up games, that type of thing. On the, bless you, on the, um, on the Friday, uh, we have an Empower Day. So you get a lot of inspirational talks from, from young leaders, people who've been through uh, kind of hardships in their life. 
Um, you do a lot of self-confidence stuff, a lot of self-esteem stuff. Um, with a guy called Action Jackson. I know that's an incredibly silly name, but don't worry. Uh, on the Friday you get up and you do a lead day. So you talk essentially the nuts and bolts of what it takes to be a leader, how to be a leader, the different types of leadership. Um, and then on the Sunday, you have an Excel day. Now, what that means is that's not Excel as in Excel PowerPoint, where the Excel means that you get a chance to take all those skills that you've learned and all the inspiration that you've had on the, on, the, on the kind of Friday and the Saturday to then go and kind of put that in place and be young leaders and inspire you to actually do some good. So what we're going to try and do this year is we're actually going to go out into the community and, and work with three different charities and actually volunteer on the Sunday. The idea is that you come back into your school and to your own communities and you feel inspired and empowered, ready to kind of lead in your community and make a difference as an individual. Okay. Because that's really important to you guys right now, you're all in your kind of own little bubble as teenagers. You know, you go home, you kind of sit in your room on Facebook, or sit in your room, watch I'm a Celebrity or X Factor, and you're quite happy with your own bubble, okay, your own little world, okay? And not a lot of young people realise that, you know, in a couple of years, you guys are going to be in control. You guys are going to be in charge, okay? I've just unnerved a lot of the teachers here, okay? But it's true, you guys are going to be, you guys are the leaders of the future, and it's up to you. Okay? It's up to you. And I'm, when I say it's up to you, I'm not talking about you as a group, I'm talking about you, each and every individual person sitting here right now. It's up to you okay, to lead the world and to change the world. Okay? A very a wiser man than me once said that it only takes one person to change the world. Okay? One person, when you look at it. Okay? It only takes a, a well-intentioned person, one person to change the world. That's all it takes. Now, it sounds really dry, youth leadership. I'm going to kind of finish with a kind of video in a second. If you're interested at all in what I've, what I've been talking about, if you speak to Mr. North or your head of year, he's got some leaflets for you to take home to, uh, to your parents and some application forms. Okay, it's in Manchester this year, the Easter holidays, April the 14th to the 17th. Okay, what I want to get across to you it isn't dry. Every last person who's ever gone to Hobie that I know. It's changed their life forever. It's absolutely amazing. If you go also, you get, you get an opportunity to kind of fundraise and go <coughs> to the US next year and kind of take part in the World Leadership Congress in the US, which is absolutely phenomenal. So I want to get across to you how when you do something that's dry, if you add fun to it, okay, it doesn't matter how dry it seems, it can be amazing and inspirational. So I'm just going to finish by showing you this video. Involves a little bit of kind of trickery. Message I want to get across to you. It's, a, it's an amazing opportunity, but 
when I talk to you about leadership, you know, it's like, okay, and it can be about like the escalator, it can be something you just hear about every day and you just kind of do it, you don't think about it. But it really is a lot of fun, it's an amazing opportunity and it's incredibly inspirational and I, I really do think that if you listen to what I've said and you give Hobie a chance, um, it, can, it will absolutely 100% change your life forever. Okay, so like I say, if you speak to Mr. North or your head of year about um, reflex reforms, and thank you very much, guys, for being very polite. Thanks for listening. Cheers.